for you guys who don't know, I'm Sean Austin. Uh, I'll be a fifth year uh, co-term student coming up in the fall. And uh, I've done this several times in the so it's a fun time. Uh, my project this time is by myself, actually, for the first time, too. It's uh, user interface research slash, obviously, development towards a uh, Android weather app. So I'm going to try to codify a lot of what I'm learning, um, you know, have that benefit of actually being in code and because it's our class, and so I can actually have a demonstration of this. So the idea came about, actually, um, this is what I thought from being an RPI, that to be a coder, you can't be an artist or kind of a UI person, so I didn't really know a lot of code coming in. Um, I think this is a good example of it. It's kind of, you know, stick art, and um, and yeah, I saw like this dichotomy in the two things. So this is kind of what my, my focus was, you know. I, I did a lot of graphic stuff, um, I've done OpenGL programs, I was always thinking of optimizations, issues with that, uh, obviously classwork here, and more or less the functionality that I felt was the only important thing to, to really worry about, and I never thought about, you know, users, I thought about, you know, errors like this, um, that were, <laughs> that were coming up that, you know, those, again, were the focus of what I was doing. So, you know, with that being the question, what I learned for a couple of years, or I thought what I was learning and not really taking any interface classes, um, besides maybe one human computer interaction, I, you know, this, this is where the project came about. Can coders design? Obviously, there's, you know, UI design or something that's it's clear, but for me, it was not so clear where I can find resources for it, uh, examples for it pretty much just uh, an easy way to diffuse the two and came about, oh actually here's a good point. So I thought this was design, you know, something that was very artistic, just kind of, that was that was my view of it. And it became more apparent over the years and really recently when I got into mobile development that, you know, this is kind of the, the split for it now and you can tell that the left side, for you guys, the left side is much more, um, you know, it's, it's prettier looking, it's more of a better interface. and understanding and kind of having an engineering approach of why that is, uh, I the right to enter it another way, <laughs> um, is what I wanted to do. So this is kind of the perfect example of that. That right side to me doesn't seem as good. Um, and it, it isn't, I mean, people like iPhone much better. And I think this settings menu really, really brought it out. So uh, this, this book came up in class. It was actually kind of the, the core of where I thought of, well, this guy thought of the ideas, but uh, he was one of the senior researchers at Apple um, many years ago. I think it was a paper, not a book, but kind of just talked about how the process is completely backwards. People engineer it from the, you know, the, the bottom, kind of the back end, and go forward when you really have to think about the, the users, but it's still an engineering process, thinking of you know, who's going to use it and, and going backwards from there. Otherwise, you're going to engineer something that's not usable and then there's not, in most cases, a point to do it. So the project itself um, comprises of doing a lot of research on actually papers, like I was saying before, uh, making sure that I can have some sort of process uh, pulled in from all these different resources and, and have that shown and described. Um, on top of that, it's kind of for actually anybody. I wanted it to be for someone like me who could go to this website or you know the blog. Or the code itself is an example along with actually seeing uh, resources with kind of a, a cliff notes if you will, which I put in here as goals. Um, it really helps, I think it would for a lot of people. And like I said, so I want to document these, the papers themselves, cliff note them so that they're, you know, you can get a quick synopsis of everything. Um, put those reinterpretations that I'm understanding into the, the blog that we need to do every week, but it's kind of more important than I've realized in the past for this uh, project and the other ones I've done. And then of course, codify it actually into this weather app. So I've seen a lot of Android weather apps that, that really, you know, suck in the end. Um, the weather channel is one, and like crashes and things like that. So the, besides that, they're not even any good. But I've seen one for iPhone that's you know takes a lot of these lessons, um, streamlines it, and does a lot of great things. And it's a really popular app. And I think that's you know a great example of really simple information that should be delivered in a simple way. Um, and, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. The progress itself. I mean, I've been doing the blog obviously from the research. Um, I have familiarity with Android and some iPhone, so I've, I've set that up and I've started, you know, monkeying around with what I want to get it to look like without, you know, it's not, not going to be a copy of anything, it's going to be pulling in from the papers. Um, you know, find the initial things, document them, but right now I'm on scoping out and kind of just mocking up what it's going to look like so I can get a good idea and also put that again <clears throat> into the blog and documentation so people can see what, um, kind of the process, so I think that's important, seeing a process of starting with 
you know, my non-artistic skills and breaking that down and hopefully coming to something that looks good from someone who I think, myself, I'm not an artist, um, but I think you can be one if you want to, especially for coding. So is there any questions? That's it. Do you have a mock-up of the better map of the Android? The ones I've seen are the ones I'm going to do right now. Wait, the ones you I don't have a mock-up right now, no. I mean, that's, I'm working with one of my friends because he's helps me a little bit and he does a lot of UI. So I'll be having that um, next week. So can you, can you see the existing you know, the existing weather app for the Android? The Weather Channel one? Yeah. I mean, I could pull it, but it's yeah. not pretty. <laughs> if you want to yeah. see it, I can show you those two examples. Um, Here's the iPhone. Okay, yeah. So here's what I was mentioning. It's definitely done right. Uh, it's pretty new too. Not even mentioned by the channel. But uh, I mean, that's it actually. You can only go left and right with the days. And part of that is just focusing down um, so there's not any. These are US. What was that? This one is Android. No, no, that was the iPhone one. So the Android, just the the Weather Channel one for Android actually is the the most used and the worst one. Ever. Uh, I don't know if this will even really show how bad it is. Try. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Though. So yeah, I mean here's. So yeah, that's the good one. It's, you know, for iPhone, and then there's your uh, weather channel one. So I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things with that that I've been playing apart with, just you know, focusing information down, having too many options for someone. I mean, it's it gets worse actually when you try to tab tablet. So I should probably put up a screenshot of that. Um, yeah. So that more than any other questions. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna try to, I mean it's coming up in a lot of things I'm reading, so I'm gonna try to pull that in. I don't know how much I'll be able to do it. Um, I'm gonna try to get some of my friends, you know, to sit down and see if I can go through some things, but I'll definitely mention it. I mean, put it in as much as I can, because yeah, that's, that's critical. Um, 